today I'm going to show you a uh, HD tune test of a few hard drives. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you here is the OCZ Vector solid state drive. Um, and these are the three drives that I'll be showing you the, uh, the charts for. And uh, this program is HD Tune Pro. You can get it for like $35 on the website. I'll link it to you below, but it's really good for uh, testing the speeds of uh, of hard drives. I was only able to test the read speed on each of them because you have to wipe the drive if you want to do a write test, but the read test is pretty indicative of, uh, of how it's going to perform. And uh, as you can see here, this one is pretty quick. Like OCZ Vector is, and it's the 256 gigabyte version, it's one of the two fastest like consumer solid state drives you can get. The other one's the uh, 840 Pro Samsung drive. Uh, that's in 256 and 512 as well, which the OCZ Vector is uh, sold in, and uh, they're pretty comparable. Um, they're both right around like $250. If you get it on sale, you can get them for around $200. Um, and what you see here is the average read speed, like at any point in time what the read speed is. And uh, you can see that it drops off in a few places. This is kind of normal. Uh, I would have expected it to be a bit more uniform because that's how most solid states are, but it's still just insanely fast. Uh, like a regular uh, hard drive, like a spinning hard drive, would be somewhere down here, or if it was 7200 RPM, it might even be up to here. So this is just worlds above it already. And I'll show you a speed test from a spinning hard drive as well. And then something else to look at is the access time. The access time averages 0 0.106 milliseconds, which is just incredible and that's just really gonna help your latency and everything so uh, this is my, what I use as a boot drive a lot and uh, I was getting a boot time of right around 9 or 10 seconds which is just incredible. Uh, then the charts here uh, that I have the one on the left is for a small solid state drive that I have in this laptop as well it's an MSATA drive and the uh, the chart on the right is for a spinning hard drive. So what you don't see immediately is that how much lower this is than this one. Uh, if you look at the chart on the left, the uh, scale on the left, and compare them, the highest this one goes is 150 megs. So this actually, this whole chart, it actually ends here. So and this uh, spinning hard drive doesn't get anywhere above like 100 and 110 megs which would be down here, and then it drops all the way off to 20, which would be way down here. Or sorry, that's 20 milliseconds. It uh, drops off to 50, yeah. So it starts off here and goes all the way down to here. And that's just based on the performance of uh, spinning hard drives. It's a little hard to explain, but you can look it up. And then what you can look at, too, is the incredibly slow access time. 19 milliseconds was the average. Well, if we look at the test for the uh, OCZ Vector, which is one of the best solid states you can get, but it's still, I mean, the difference is insane. 0 0.106 average. So 0 0.106 milliseconds versus 19 milliseconds. That's 190 times as long with the spinning hard drive, which is bad. So, uh, and its burst rate was 134 megs. This is the, uh, this is just a small solid state, and you can see it's very uniform, but, and this is practically like the cheapest solid state, like it's not a good solid state. And you can see that it's already higher than the, uh, than the spinning hard drive in pretty much every aspect, and it sustains it the entire time. Like if over like if you were copying a big file like a movie or something, like it can sustain that for a very long time, while the spinning hard drive just drops right off. So, um, I mean, these are just a few things things to look into. But as you can see, solid state performance is just incredible incredible amounts better. And no matter which solid state you put in your computer, you're gonna see a bonus like a like a much like a pretty big speed increase, and if you go all the way to the best one, then it's like OCZ Vector or the 840 Pro, it's amazing the difference you'll see.